So what's going on guys welcome back to another video in today's video I'm going to be giving a completely first look of MIU N9 on our MI A1 well this was completely like impossible project for many developers but finally a developer has done it and it just works flawless well by flawless I mean it boots which is a huge achievement in itself and Volti works brightness works the camera works which are again huge achievements there are just small and little things are remaining and the installation process is needed to be much like refined literally getting this up and booted was a bit of a headache cause before i just review you cause literally it's mio9 there is nothing special in it let's just take a history lesson why literally almost all of the developers gave up this is mi1 let me just confirm you that this is an mi1 many of you guys might think that this is an b5x and i'm just fooling you guys but no this is an mi1 and I live in India, so it has an AB partition, which is almost all of the Android One devices, which are made for seamless updates. Well, literally, they don't get updates in case of Xiaomi. I don't know about the Moto X4 and another Nokia phones, whether they get updates or not. Nokia phones are great at it, but for Xiaomi, they just completely messed it up. So as we have the AB partition, none of phones use that. Literally for Redmi Note 4, you can port the ROMs to the Mi Max and Mi 5X cause literally hardware perspective, almost all the phones are same not for the MIA one. So a developer tried it first, almost made 40 versions of it. I'm not taking names, but most of the people, like almost eight people I can remember, completely heartbreak their MIA one cause, completely formatting your partition and make it like Mi 5X, like one partition. And that was not going to completely become successful method for almost all of the people. And literally how this developer got it worked is just amazing. I can't believe my eyes how seamless it works. So as it was easy, developer has actually made two ports, Mi 5X and Redmi 5 Plus. Yes, you can actually boot Redmi 5 Plus ROMs on this thing. So there is a possibility we can actually port MIUI 9 Oreo to this thing. Yeah, still fingers crossed, but this is an actual version running. Let me show you. Going to the system settings, MIUI version, there you go. This is an beta, all specs, Android version 7.1.2 Nougat. As you can see, up and running. And it runs pretty flawless as you can see you have the normal thing is on the left your normal system ui looks pretty cool works extremely nice like touch response is just amazing compared to the android one you have all of the apps and as this is in china rom you also get many features such as xiaomi ai2 which is granted as you can see looks pretty nice you have all of the stuff from mi u9 such as the holographic clock to like literally it's so amazing to see on our mi a1 and that also means we have another mi 5 export such as fly me os which i would be soon making a video on currently as you can see it's 4m cause i have to really head out somewhere and let's just take a quick look at the camera as you can see works hdr is completely broken right now but portrait mode works pretty fine you have your normal options just like before video recording and i have been clicking some pictures is me 5x down there so that's pretty much it thanks for watching this is a quick first look of mi 9 on our mi a1 i hope you guys enjoyed and i would be making many videos with mi a1 in the upcoming week so please subscribe down there and see you in the next one peace